Hi, and welcome back to Economist. Today we finally have a control net model that works seamlessly with Flux and delivers great results. The best part is, as always, I've streamlined the workflow to make it as minimal and easy to follow as possible. You'll be able to replicate the steps without any hassle. However, to get control net working perfectly, you'll need to adjust a few hidden parameters. So stick around until the end to ensure you achieve the best results. Before we jump in, if you're excited to level up your AI image generation skills, make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button to help us beat the algorithm. When you load the workflow, you'll notice some missing nodes. That's completely normal. The reason is that you'll need to install a few custom nodes, but don't worry, it's not too many. The most important one is the GGUF custom node which is essential for running quantized Flux models. This is crucial because Flux tends to use a lot of VRAM. On top of that, we'll be working with a LoRa and the depth control net, so it's important to choose the right quantized model for your GPU. If you're unsure how to do this, check out the link in the description to find the best model for your setup. We'll also need the Comfy UI control net auxiliary preprocessors, extra models for Comfy UI, and optionally, the RG3 custom node after installing the missing custom nodes, remember to restart Comfy UI for everything to take effect. Now, let's head over to Jasper AI's Hugging Face page to download the depth model. A special shout out to Jasper AI, who also trained the upscaler model for Flux, which was recently featured by Olivio Saricas. Once you've downloaded the model, place it in the models folder inside the control net directory and give it a custom name so it's easy to find later. Once you've restarted ComfyUI and placed the depth model, you'll notice that all the nodes are functioning correctly. For this workflow, I'm using a personally trained LoRa for an African-American AI model. I find that adding a LoRa to the workflow really helps avoid that cartoonish look in your output. If you're unsure how to train your own AI character Laura on Flux, I've got a 30-minute video explaining the entire process in detail. You can check it out if you need help with that. Also, if you're new to Comfy UI and looking for a beginner course to help you go from the basics all the way to creating your own AI digital model for social media, visit the link below to get 40% off the course today. Now, returning to our workflow, your positive prompt should describe the scene in detail. Keep in mind that the depth preprocessor will detect various elements in your image. For AI digital modeling, we can use the depth map to capture key features like the character's body shape, hairstyle, clothing, background, and more. Generation speed will vary depending on your GPU, but by selecting the right quantized flux model, you'll be able to generate an image in about one minute and 30 seconds. Running this control net model on a Q8 flux GGUF model will use around 19 gigabytes of VRAM. As you can see, the model accurately captures the pose and body size of our AI character, which is essential for maintaining control and ensuring consistency in your character. Let's do another test. I've got a plus size model here, and I want our AI character to have the same body size. Let's update our prompt with the new details and generate the image. As you can see, I'm not satisfied with the first result. While the pose is accurate, the chair looks really bad. Let's try generating another image. Now we're getting somewhere. The pose is spot on. The body size is now plus size. And we've got the yellow dress just as described in the positive prompt. In this example, we use the depth model to modify our AI character while keeping the same pose. However, we changed the background, the clothing color, and even the season, shifting from autumn to winter. The key to getting good results is to set the control net strength to around 0.65 and adjust the end percentage between 0.3 and 0.4. These settings are crucial for generating high quality images. That's all for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. 
you can follow along and copy this workflow directly from the video. If you want to download all the necessary files, prompts, and workflows, consider subscribing to my membership through the link below. You'll get access to all past and future resources, and it's a great way to support the channel. For beginners, don't forget I've extended the 40% discount on my AI digital model course using Comfy UI. This course will walk you through everything from installation to creating your first AI digital model. Be sure to check it out in the link below. See you in the next tutorial.